Good, happy Wednesday evening, October 7, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this special coverage of the Vice President Debate 2020 Vice President Debate, the first and only Vice President Debate. Tonight on the debate stage will be Vice President Mike Pence, the current Vice President, and Presidential Vice President, who will be joining the ticket with Joe Biden, come on November, Kamala Harris. Vice President Mike Pence and Kamala Harris will be on the debate stage tonight at Salt Lake City for a debate. It all begins tonight at 9 p.m. And it is only 90 minutes with no commercial break. And it will be on all major news networks. You can see that debate. Tonight's moderator is Susan Page. U.S. Today's Washington Bureau Chief will moderate the debate between the 2020 Vice Presidential Candidate Incumbent VP Mike Pence and Joe Biden's running mate. Kamala Harris. Salt Lake City's showdown, like the presidential debate, is scheduled for 90 minutes with no commercial break. We can tell you that um, last week was the presidential debate, and that was a big mess up. Very not controlled, and it was not very smooth. Um, the moderator couldn't handle getting Donald Trump and Joe Biden to cooperate, and it was just a big shit show, I should say. So, that was a horrible debate that happened last week. But, we'll see how this debate goes, and then we can tell you, um, um, last week we learned that, um, President Donald Trump and Melania Trump tested positive, and that whole big headline came out, and, um, so now there will be new protocols set in place for tonight's debate. Kamala Harris requested that her and Mike Pence are 12 feet away instead of 6 feet away. They'll be 12 feet away with plexiglass as well. So, we will see that on the debate stage. Let's watch this video from Good Morning America ABC News. Mike Pence, Kamala Harris prepare to face off in first VP debate. Let's take a listen to that video right now. Vice presidential debate taking place at the University of Utah under those extraordinary circumstances. With 27 days to go until the final votes, an estimated nearly 5 million Americans already taking advantage of early voting options to cast their ballots. Our Mary Bruce has the very latest. Latest, she's there in Salt Lake City for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, this is it. The only matchup between Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence. And already, this debate has a new sense of urgency with the president's diagnosis and with Joe Biden possibly set to become the nation's oldest president. Americans are looking to have some confidence and reassurance that the vice president can step in if needed. And already, the coronavirus is front and center on tonight's debate stage. Kamala Harris and Mike Pence now just hours away from their first face-off. And we're looking very much forward Debate. But this morning, new questions about the vice president's safety after White House advisor Stephen Miller tested positive. His wife, Katie Miller, is Pence's communications director. She was traveling with him in Utah, but after her husband's diagnosis, she was abruptly sent home. She's tested negative the past two days. The White House insists the vice president is safe to debate. 
doctor saying Pence has not been in close contact with anyone who has tested positive and is encouraged to go about his normal activities and does not need to quarantine. But Pence was seen here at what is now being called a super spreader event at Rose Garden Ceremony, sitting right in front of Senator Mike Lee, who shortly after tested positive. The Harris team is not satisfied, demanding more safety precautions at tonight's debate. The candidates will now be at a greater distance, more than 12 feet apart, but the Harris team also wants these plexiglass barriers to remain in place. Initially, the Pence team mocked the request, saying if Senator Harris wants to use a fortress around herself, have at it. But overnight, changing their tone, saying if such a barrier is critical for the Harris team, then we're not going to let it stand in the way. Now, the hurdles for this debate pale in comparison to the challenges for the presidential debate still set for next week. The president, still COVID positive, is promising his supporters that he will be there to debate in Miami. But overnight, Joe Biden drawing a line saying that there will be no debate until after the president tests negative and is rid of this virus. The debate host telling us this is all up in the air. Everything depends on the president's health. Robin. It certainly does. And Mary, as you know, less than a month ago into the election and now top intelligence officials are now trying to boost Americans' confidence when it comes to Election Day. Yeah, leaders in the intelligence community have joined forces releasing a video trying to assure Americans that they can be confident that the election will be conducted safely and securely, and also urging Americans to be patient, as we may not know the results of this election on November 3rd. It, of course, is a sharp contrast with the message coming from the president, who has been trying to sow doubt about the election and spread false claims that this election will be fraudulent. Robin? Quite a contrast, yes. And I know it's going to be a long day for you, Mary. We're going to have full coverage of the vice presidential debate tonight. George is going to be anchoring with our political team starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts. Okay, and there you go on that video. So, um, it will be an interesting debate. Hopefully it won't be like the presidential debate that went on last a couple weeks ago. Hopefully it will not look like that. Hopefully it will be a better debate. Um, and we can also tell you on October 15th that there will be another presidential debate with Joe Biden and Donald Trump, but that is up in the air right now because Donald Trump still has COVID-19 and, um, you need a quarantine for 14 days until you are all clear. So, that is still up in the air because Donald Trump last week got COVID-19 and a bunch of people in his team also got it as well. And a bunch of them were at a White House event and they all got it and things. So, that'll be very interesting to see if that debate will go on or not on October 15th. We'll need to keep close eyes on that and see if that happens or anything like that. Um, we're gonna listen in now to some ABC News live coverage of the debate right now. By the way, George, there was just one, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, who was not quarantined because he went out of town, but the Assistant Commandant has now tested positive. He was in a meeting on Friday with the other Joint Chiefs in what's called the tank in the Pentagon. That's where uh, the Assistant Commandant of the Coast Guard uh, later tested positive. That's why they're quarantining. Uh, so this is something they are really watching. Many of them were at a meeting at the White House the Sunday following the Rose Garden event. Uh, but the Commandant, the Assistant Commandant was not, so I think they are looking uh, more generally at that meeting at the Pentagon, but they don't know how the uh, Coast Guard Admiral got that at the time. And there was that event with Gold Star families as well. Okay, Mark, let's bring in Pierre Thomas, our Chief Justice Correspondent. We already know that even before this crisis, Russia and to some extent China were trying to interfere in the elections, but we saw an extraordinary video yesterday from the FBI Director and other intelligence officials trying to reassure the public. 
That's right, George. Even as President Trump has repeatedly suggested the upcoming election might be rigged, FBI Director Chris Wray and other top intelligence officials have released that video you talked about, urging calm and confidence as Americans go to the polls. Their collective message, yes, foreign governments like Russia and Iran are trying to spread disinformation and hack politicians, but the U.S. government is on top of it and pushing back. And George is saying it would be extremely difficult to have any wide-scale interference in the upcoming election, but they emphasize with so many Americans voting by mail because of coronavirus that it may take longer to know who won. They say that's okay. Have patience. The votes will be tallied and they will count. And George, a starkly different tone from what we're hearing from the president. No question about that. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. The debate 45 minutes away. We're going to come back with a deeper dive looking at the polls. Nate Silver's forecast and our roundtable. Okay, we will be right back. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere. You're watching special coverage of the 2020 presidential debate. That debate begins at 9 p.m. We will be right back. 